what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i did a poll on twitter today asking you guys what film in the franchise i should rage about or trash out of halloween 5 and halloween 6 and of course you guys went with halloween 5 as i hoped you would already had the thumbnail ready already had all my points ready i've done a video like this before in the past but just want to do a more updated one now that i have uh, somewhat of a larger audience so jumping right on into things one of the one of the major issues with halloween 5 that you already see on screen here is of course the michael myers mask the michael myers mask is absolutely horrendous it's probably the worst mask in the franchise the fact that it's hanging out of his collar like that that's something that bothers a lot of people also the introduction to this whole thorn thing the reason the thorn introduction is an issue with halloween in halloween 5 and onward into halloween 6 is because of the fact that it was just written in with no real intent of what direction they were going to take it in we know they introduced the man in black who at the time they had no idea who that even was we come to find out that was dr win in halloween 6 who wasn't even a major character uh in the first film because he appeared in the first film but he was played by a different actor he just had a brief scene walking loomis out of the hospital or talking with Loomis as he's walking away from the hospital, talking about somebody must have given him driving lessons. So the whole man in black, the cult of Thorn, and then the fact that we don't even have the relationship between Rachel and Jamie carrying the story anymore. Rachel's killed off early on. For what reason, I do not know. Literally Halloween 5, it comes off like they're just, they're just trying to wing it. Halloween 5, from what fans know, what I know, it was a rushed production. They had the script written up really quickly then they went into production just like that and it's just like wow like it came out a year after the fourth film there's like no time to breathe they didn't take anything seriously given the result of the final product um and then going back to another thing we know that halloween 4 ended in a way to already tell us what direction we should go to in halloween 5 with jamie standing at the top of the stairs holding up that knife after she stabbed her stepmother or her foster mother rather and then they don't even go in that direction for the next film they don't do it whatsoever jamie is just back to being she's not even well actually she's not back to being anything she she goes in a direction that doesn't even make sense to what happened in the last film she's mute there's this psychic link between her and her uncle that goes unexplained for most of the film that somehow has something to do with thorn and even then that's not rationalized in any shape way or form apparently when you touch michael myers hand you'll just develop a psychic link you'll lose your voice you can't express yourself and everything's just a big giant struggle for for you for the majority of the film as you struggle to talk and they have Don donald pleasant's back he's like a saving grace him and daniel harris do amazing jobs in their roles uh their on-screen chemistry is prevalent they they come off well with each other but i think what a lot of people had an issue with in this project was how uncomfortable dr loomis was portrayed in the film donald pleasant did a great job with what he was given but it's like why was loomis written like this he's bombarding jamie asking her for questions he's kind of harassing her he comes off more annoying you kind of get aggravated with loomis in this film more so than any other any other entry because in the other entries loomis is clearly here to save and be the hero in town in, in ways but in this one he's coming off very desperate very in, insincere and just very like almost like he has no no feelings for who gets who gets harmed in the in the process of his of his desire to kill michael myers and to some degree it seems like a fitting progression for the character but also at the same time it's like dial it back a bit because you're, you're making the character unlikable in a, in a in a in small ways for how you're portraying him here and then of course going back to rachel rachel dying off and then us having to deal with tina and tina's friends not even tina's friends let's just say killing off rachel and then having to do with rachel's sidebar sidebar posse of friends who we never get to really learn anything about tina's introduced as some loud obnoxious goon who comes to visit jamie when she's in the hospital again struggling to talk and then we're not we're not really given a chance to like that character they do more to make you dislike the character because she's so unfocused on anything regarding michael myers she doesn't seem to care about jamie the way she comes off when she's with jamie and it's just like 
we're kind of watching a movie where Michael Myers is in the background while we spend a majority of the film watching him kill a bunch of teenagers who have no regard for him, don't see him as a threat. They know of his of his legend, but they just have no regard for him. And it's just like the atmosphere is not the same as it was in the last film. The mystique of the shape is being diminished by the fact that no one seems to even give a damn about him. And just the simple fact that the direction they took this in versus having Jamie portray some type of or have Jamie in some type of evil role here that seemed to really hurt the film really it did it comes off like Halloween 4 should have been the definitive conclusion to the franchise really because of the fact that instead of taking us in a direction where maybe we have Jamie in a institution where it seems like she's doing killings around said institution. Maybe she's in Smith's Grove and she's under the care of Dr. Loomis. And then at the end, we come to find out it's not Jamie, of course, it's Michael Myers. We don't get something like that. That would have been more interesting. We get this, this film that is half-baked, subpar acting. The only two real great performances or performances that I would even consider good are Jamie and Dr. Loomis. And then don't even get me started on the Myers house. The Myers house is not the Myers house. What that was, I do not know, but it sure as hell is not the Myers house. There's just so much lack of care for making a quality Halloween film in Halloween 5 that I cannot stand when people defend it sometimes. I will defend it in the sense that I can say that I enjoy watching all of the Halloween films, but Halloween 5 is not a good entry in this franchise. It is not a well-made film. It is not written with any type of care for what happened before. It's written off. It comes off as it's being written off the fly. And it's very evident from how things progress onward in the Halloween six, because they they don't do a very good job of making sense out of what was introduced in Halloween five, because they are not the same creative team that introduced these ideas in Halloween five. They do what they can. And I will say it is adequate, but it's still not something that's logical the thing that bothered me the most with Halloween 5, though, honestly, is just coming down to the fact that the way the characters that were given to given to have the film centered on, they don't they don't care. They're interested in partying. They're interested in it's it's almost like if Laurie Strode wasn't Laurie Strode. Like when I say that, like if Laurie Strode wasn't the main focus of the first film and instead we got annie and linda parading around town just drinking chilling out with their boyfriends and showing no regard for michael myers it's it feels like that it's just like that's not that's not cool it's it's more boring than anything because first of all the fact that tina has no real desire to be with jamie for most of the film she just wants to go to the tower farm that already makes her an unlikable protagonist to a lot of people because Jamie is just there in the background. And then here's this here's this young teen who Jamie wants nothing more than to spend time with after Rachel is gone. And Tina just shows no regard for her. And we all we all love Jamie. Daniel Harris does an amazing job in the role. But Tina is just like, forget Jamie. I want to go to the Tower Farm. And it's just like, well, forget Tina then. We don't care about Tina. We hope Tina dies. And I know a lot of people rejoiced when Tina died. <laughs> There's a lot wrong with Halloween 5. And you can defend it if you want to. There's some redeeming qualities. Those redeeming qualities are what I mentioned. They're the performances from Daniel Harris and Donald Pleasance in their roles as Jamie Lloyd and Dr. Loomis. The Myers house is trash. The narrative progression from Halloween 4 is trash. Uh, the decision to kill off certain characters, trash. Um so many things that don't don't make sense the fact that I, that they are on record stating that they did not know who the man in black was is absolute trash too let me know what else is wrong with halloween 5 down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews like you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video